Since 2019, I have been using the Canon Vixia HF-R800 as my prime camera for everything. From recording trips to recording YouTube videos, it's all been shot on this guy. But, I've finally had enough of it. There's just too many little issues and I'm finally deciding to upgrade the camera. So what are the issues that I would recommend you look at if you're ever going to buy this guy? My biggest issue is how colors look. Right now I'm shooting on auto and everything has kind of a blue tint to it. If I were to move inside, everything would have an orange tint to it. So, <laughs> unless you're going to color correct, which, to be fair, a lot of people do, but I know a lot of people who don't, your images and videos are always going to look blue or orange, which is undesirable. So, that's my biggest complaint with this guy. Image coloring is abysmal. Reason number two is smaller, but it's still notable. Right now I have a wide-angle lens adapter on the camera. If I were to take that off, everything would get cropped in. In fact, I will take it off right now. So there, you can see it with it off. This is the same setup, this is the same place where it was. The only difference is I don't have this on. And you can see just how cropped in it is. I, can, I had to hunch over quite a ways to fit into the frame here. And even then, like, it's not getting the top of my head. If I move, if I were to sit up straight, you're losing a lot of detail here, and that's partially because of how low my tripod is, but, yeah, it crops. Get a wide-angle adapter. But there's a problem with that, too. Let me show you. When recording in sunlight, you get this. I'm pointing it out. You can see it, these little colored squares. It does not matter where you go, as long as you're looking at a bright light like a sun, or maybe a light on a desk or a lamp, you're gonna get these lights. Which means if you're recording your face, but you're gonna get all these little squares, and that's undesirable for recording. I would not recommend this lens adapter for that. Maybe there's one that doesn't have that. But again, if you don't have the lens adapter, you're gonna lose about 20% of what you're seeing now in terms of, you know, what you can see in the frame. So take your pick. Squares or a loss of background. Another complaint that sometimes shows up and sometimes doesn't is around the edges here, around these corners, they can get very blurry at times. It's not showing up now, but trust me, if you're shooting in low light or in the rain, you will see them. And that's undesirable. Okay, next thing I want to complain about is the battery life. Now, battery life on any camera isn't going to be great, but camcorders are supposed to have these really long battery lives that can allow you to record for hours on end. Not the Vixie HFR800, folks. From my testing, shooting in the lowest quality means that you can shoot for about an hour and a half before you'll have to swap out batteries or plug the camera in. Which means if you're planning on shooting in a higher quality, eh, you're going to want to look at getting a couple extra batteries or maybe bring them down to battery pack to charge your camera. Okay, one final complaint and then I'm done with complaining about this camera. And it is microphone quality. So it sounds decent, but I don't have any external mics hooked up to it. Now there is a microphone port, but you'll have to get a powered mic, and it can only be a select few. I have a powered microphone that is powered externally. It doesn't have to tap into the camera. And it doesn't work. I don't know what it is about it, but it doesn't work. Now, if you were to get maybe a, you know, like a Rode video mic go, and you were to plug it in, that one just wouldn't work because it can't tap into the power of the camera, which is really, really inconvenient for people like me who prefer sound quality to everything else. Because you can shoot on a terrible camera, but if your sound quality is good, that's what people are going to remember. They're going to remember, hey, doesn't look that great, it has good sound. But if your video quality is good and your sound quality is bad, <laughs> no one's going to forgive you for that one. And that's a problem with this camera. Because certain mics work and certain mics don't, so the only way to find out is to look online and hope that they're right, or just test a bunch of microphones. So I hope you enjoyed my video about the few problems I've had with the Canon Vixia HFR 100, and you know they're the reasons I'm deciding to upgrade. The camera itself is nice. You can get it for less than three hundred dollars. It records in 1080p. It's sturdy. You know, it's durable, it works. I've used it for about two years now, and I've been very happy with it. But over time, the little minor inconveniences that you looked over when purchasing it, 
they're going to become a lot bigger issues, and so eventually you will have to upgrade. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.